Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. If you all don't know me, I'm David Cantu and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays and DVDs go. Um, Alright, so this video, man, we have a lot to take a look at. Like, uh, I, I started out the week very unsure, and, I, and this has happened before, where, um, you know, I, I get very, like, anxious where I'm like, man, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. To, to do a, a substantial video for you guys. Because, honestly, I, I do this video as a service to you guys. You know what I mean? Um, so, so you guys know, you know, what's coming out and things like that. So, I was already freaking out. I was like, I don't know, you know, if uh, if I'm going to have enough for this week. And then, just out of the blue, things started just coming in the mail. It's just, like, insane. So, we got a lot to take a look at. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first up, we have The Space Between Us. This movie, I'm really looking forward to. I've been really looking forward to. I missed it in the, in the theaters. Uh, this one comes out May 16th from Universal Home Entertainment. Uh, this looks like it's going to be just, you know, one of those, like, uh, I guess, sweet type of movies. It, it's like a romance, sci-fi, teeny bopper type of movie. I don't want to say teeny bopper. It's kind of weird. But uh, like a teen romance type of movie. Um, and it seems really good. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's just one of those, like, fish out of water type of stories, uh, it's, it's the typical kind of a plot line, but just spun a different way, if you, if you guys know what I mean, so here you go, here goes the, the front here, it does include an alternate ending, two worlds, one connection, all right, and here goes the back there, if you guys want to see what it's about, and see the special features as well, all right, all right, so let's go ahead and pop this open. It does include the digital copy. And here we have uh, no interior artwork and the typical uh, black, you know, black cover art for, uh, you know, the DVD or black uh, disc art, I guess, for the DVD. And then the typical universal kind of, uh, you know, shaded out uh, for the Blu-ray. And then the logo there on top. So it's really cool. And then here goes the front, back and spine for the space between us. And like I said, it does come out May 16th from Universal Home Entertainment. I'm really looking forward to this. One. I'm really, uh, you know, looking forward to checking this one out and seeing it as soon as possible. So, for sure. That's one to pick up, for sure. Uh, next up is... Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. And this comes out May 16th as well from Paramount, uh, Paramount Home Entertainment. So you see that this is the 4K copy. It does have 4K, uh, Blu-ray, and digital HD copy inside. All right. And then if you guys want to see what it's about, you pause the screen there. And then see the bonus features as well. Okay, now the Triple H franchise, I should, I don't know if you're going to call it a franchise because this is what, I guess you can. This is what, the, the third one, I believe? So, um, it didn't really grab me the same way as like the Fast and the Furious franchise did. Um, but it, it's another one of those like fun popcorn movies that you don't have to think much about. Like basically, you watch this movie, you know what you're getting into. And I say the same thing about the Fast and the Furious franchise. Uh, you kind of know exactly what to expect. Big explosions, big action, uh, things like that. So, And it, it, Vin Diesel, um, I, I have, I guess, a thing with Vin Diesel in a way where I feel like he hasn't really created anything original in a good while. It's just kind of uh, sequels of other franchises that he's done in the past. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I would like to see him create something brand new and fun and amazing. You know, just something that will catch me off guard. You know what I mean? But for now, it is a sequel to Triple uh, X. Which, um, as you can see here, does include digital copy. And right here is the Blu-ray on this side. And then the 4K copy on this side. Very standard, very basic uh, type of uh, disc art here. No interior artwork because it is a 4K, but it does have this cool black 4K 
4K case, which pretty much almost every video I say I can't get enough of. So I'll say it again. I can't get enough of them. They're awesome. I love the way they look on the shelf. So anyway, this one does come out uh, May 16th from Paramount Home Entertainment. So if you're into the triple triple H, I was gonna say triple H, triple X series, then uh, that's gonna be one to get. That one, does, it, I'm not gonna lie, it does look fun though. It does look like a fun action movie. So uh, next up we have here, Rock Dog. Rock Dog. Um, I remember seeing the previews for this one uh, a while back, and it seemed interesting to me. I, I leaned over. I, I remember I leaned over to my kid, and I and we were in the movie theaters, and I leaned over. I'm like, Hey, you want to see this one? He's like. Mm, no, I don't think so. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it didn't hit with him. It seems interesting to me. I'm, I'm willing to check it out. You know what? I'm Honestly, I've seen more animated films on my own as an adult than when I was a kid. So, that's very strange. <laughs> this one comes out May 23rd uh, from Lionsgate. All right. So, let's go ahead and check out the back here if you guys want to see what it's about. And the special features are there as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. It's just ripped up. Hell out of this. Okay. There we go. There we go. And a little bit left. Okay. So it does have digital copy, All right? And okay, this is pretty cool. So no interior artwork, but it does have disc art. All right, so this this again, we don't get this kind of stuff very often, uh, especially from Lionsgate, which is, it, it's a treat. To me, it's a treat. Um, we have the DVD copy on this side, which does have this cover art, this disc art here, and then the Blu-ray copy on this side, which has this discard which again different di discard is always a welcome thing to, for me anyway um it just shows that they they put just that little bit of extra care in it and uh, that's what i really dig a lot so um you see here uh, there goes the front back and spine for rock dog which comes out uh may 23rd from lionsgate all right so uh, again Animated movies, uh, I, I'm always, movie in general, I'll say, I'm always willing to give them a shot, no matter what. Uh, that one looks, that looks fun. It look, really does look fun. Okay, next up is one that I didn't expect to get in the mail. Um, and I don't know how to feel about it, <laughs> per se. But it came in the mail, and uh, I was I was taken aback. I was like, <gasps> what is this? <laughs> and um I, I don't know so <laughs> it's Doug Dynasty the complete series as you can see here it's in this big box set uh 24 disc collection uh 130 episodes and this one comes out May 16th from Lionsgate this coming Tuesday so again Doug Dynasty is, is look how thick it is look it's crazy Doug Dynasty was one of those shows that I remember when it first when it first hit, um, I, I watched it. Me and my family watched it. You know, it, it was it was a fun show to watch. You know what I mean? And um, we watched it for a good while. So it, it started to become like a guilty pleasure. You know, it kind of really wasn't my thing, but it was entertaining. And that's kind of what you like in shows anyway, right? You want to be entertained. Um, as the years went on, I kind of dropped off from it. And, uh, you know, I lost track of it and things like that. So knowing that there's a big box set out there and it just it blows my mind and 11 seasons i had no idea that it went that long 130 episodes that is crazy so here goes the back if you guys want to check it out again this this totally blew my mind and like surprised me that it came in the mail um dropped off in my house and it, so crazy so this is this is the uh dvd a DVD copy of it. I don't. I highly doubt that it comes in Blu-ray, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I've kind of been excited to to check this out to see how the packaging is, things like that. So let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, jeez, shook my whole table here. 
Calm down, David. Quack, quack. Uh, all right, so, so okay, it does have like this. I don't know how to open it. Is it like a slide out thing? I can't even tell. Duck Dynasty, seriously, guys, Lionsgate, you're embarrassing me. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, the, the whole back piece came out. That's it. The, there goes the back of it there. Okay, I, I can't get into this. What is wrong with you guys? Genius. Genius, David. <laughs> it has a magnet. A <laughs> magnet. I, I could have busted this whole thing right now. Uh, it does have a magnet here at the bottom. Okay, so it does open up. See, and that happens when you get impatient. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it does have a magnet here at the bottom. It does open up this way. Okay, cool. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that either. And I kind of busted this. And th this kind look. All right, so th this is a downfall of this. I I'll say this. This is very heavy here. So when you tip it over like this, and if it's not on, even, you know what, even if it is on a flat surface, it's going to come apart. That, oh, not cool. That, that's not cool. I'll glue it back. Not a huge deal, but just something to be aware of if you guys do plan on picking this up at any at any point. Uh, just be very careful when you open it because it will pull apart right there. Anyway, so this is probably the biggest... Uh, DVD case that I've ever seen, uh, to my knowledge, anyway. But this is this is insanely huge. Duck Dynasty, the complete series. Um, yeah, I don't even know where, how to open this. Okay. Wow. Okay. Again, all the seasons here. Season one, disc one, disc two, disc three. Season two, disc one, disc two, disc three. Um, yeah, this it just goes on and on. Season five, season six, season seven. Uh, season seven. What's this? Ah, oh, okay. All right, what happened here, guys? Season eight. Okay. All right, all right, I'm curious to see what happened here. Okay, it does have season season six, disc two, season seven, uh, season seven, disc two, and then there's this this disc here. This is season eight, disc one. No, uh, no discard on it. Uh, season eight, disc one, and it just says it's a two sided disc which is very odd why you would have that in this set anyway i can't get it in here so i'm gonna put it outside um yeah and then it go, jumps to season nine very strange i wonder why they did that but anyway season nine disc one disc two <laughs> season 10 disc one disc two they they, they could have kept the, the the disc art at least consistent uh this season 10 disc three season 11 disc one and season uh, season 11 disc 2 which uh, if you can't see it the disc art becomes the, the typical Lionsgate gray that we all know and love and and hate I guess <laughs> and then the rest the rest have like you know this funny disc art this di various uh, colored disc art and then and here goes another one this is the wedding special it has no no disc art either very strange, very odd why they would do that. But um, you're getting the whole set here, and it's everything, and it just all came out. So it just kind of, it does, it doesn't even clamp in there. It just kind of sits in there. So that's a that's a little little weird for me too. But um, it is what it is, I guess. This is a whole series, uh, all 130 episodes, 11 seasons. Again, it comes out uh, May 16th from. Lionsgate, all right. So look for it then. Um, yeah, this is. I'm gonna put put this over here somewhere, out of the way. All right. Next up is one that I've actually heard about and I've 
been wanting to see it. Uh, there's a lot of buzz about the, this uh, this movie, and that's uh, the Black Coat's daughter. So it seems really good. It stars Emma Roberts, um, and it's a, a a horror movie. And uh, you know, th again, there's not enough horror out there. I've stated it many, many times. So whenever there's a horror movie that, that has a lot of buzz behind it, I'm all over it. I can't wait to see it. So this is going to be one of those movies. So you can see here, there goes the front cover. And then if you guys want to know what it's about, and see the special features. We'll pause that screen there. I mean, it sounds interesting, right? Sounds really good. Right, let's go ahead and pop this open. fly all right sticker here sticker there all right does come with digital copy and here you have the typical uh Lionsgate you know release uh discard here the uh dvd on this dvd the blue blu-ray on this side dvd on this side right and then the front back and spine here for the black coast daughter and this one does come out may 30th from lionsgate so look for it then um it is a little ways away but i will report back to you guys if this one seems you know really interesting really good to, ch to check out i predict that it is going to be so um if you're you, you know i always say if you're curious about something why not just just watch it you know what i mean find a way to watch it and check it out uh next up is uh, a couple of, of titles from arrow video and arrow academy they always pull through with the good stuff like i i i can't say it enough I, and i've said it many times and i'll say it again arrow video and arrow academy put put out some great things and uh, some great sets and things like that uh this one here is the jacques rivet collection <laughs> i hope i said that right the jacques Rivet collection. This one comes out May 23rd from Arrow Academy. Just this art on here looks amazing. My wife saw this when it when it came in. It was sitting here on the table, and uh, she saw it and she was like, "Oh man, this looks really cool." I was like, "Yeah, it seems really interesting." No, she was like, "It looks really cool. Just the art on it, you know, the 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 cover and stuff like that." So that just tells you right there, it, it grabs people's eyes, uh, you know, almost immediately with the way they they put their stuff out. Here we go. Again, the, the really cool textured matte textured uh, stuff. You know, I'm just just really weird about texture. It just feels really good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pop these open. Um, I may not be able to pronounce many of these, so bear with me, okay? Um, here goes a cool booklet. You know, Arrow always puts out these cool booklets with their stuff, their sets, their you know their, their releases and things like that. So it's really cool. And just like the typical, you know, release that they do, a lot of uh, uh, production notes and uh, and photos of such. Really cool. Now, again, this is th these are titles that I've never heard of. So what do I always say whenever I come across stuff that I never heard of? I get excited, like I really do. Uh, some a lot of this stuff is like. It, it, seeing something for the first time, you can't ever like, you can't ever like redo that. You know what I mean? Um, whether it's good or bad, you know, you can never redo, relive that experience. So, um, you know, again, watching something for the first time is just, it's, it's really fun to me. It's gratifying. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the first one here. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to predict and, and, and try to. To say dwell, dwell, I don't know. <laughs> and then it, it goes back if you guys want to know what it's about and see the special features as well. It does say here not to be sold separately, so it does come only in the set. Right. And um, no booklets in. Oh, this one this came apart. No booklets in these because it does come with that that. Uh, you know the the main booklet here goes the uh the blu-ray copy here 
and then the DVD on this side. Yep, it's upside down. But and then let's see the interior artwork here. Interesting. Again, never never seen these movies. So I don't know what to expect. Don't know what to tell you guys. But again, interior artwork always kills it for me. Like it, it always does it for me, I should say. Um, they they kill it every time. So, all right, there goes one title there. Next one is uh, again. I'm gonna try <laughs> Nero. Nero. Yeah, I, I think that's what it says. Anyway, <laughs> here goes the, the the back here. If you guys want to check out what it's about and check out the special features. All right, and uh, this one is from Arrow Academy. This one does come out uh, May twenty third. Um, you know, Arrow Academy again puts out more of the the artsy type of films, which I can really appreciate. I love I love artsy films. I love foreign films. I love indie films and things like that. So whenever they can put something out like that, um, you know, I'm I'm all all for it. All right, so here goes the Blu-ray here. And then the DVD on this side. All right, let's check out the interior artwork here, which is I already see it looks very strange. Let's take a closer look. Look how very weird, <laughs> but interesting. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pop this back in. Okay. All right, next up is um man i don't know if i can pronounce this one <laughs> it looks like it's, it says merry-go-round I'm, I'm joking because all the other ones were very difficult guys come on give me a break okay there goes the front cover there i love i love the artwork i love the artwork on these they're, they're very minimal but they're very effective and they, they look great it looks like you you know you're looking at something in a museum something like that it looks really cool i love it and then here goes the back here you guys want to check out what it's about, the special features. All right. I'm going to pop this open. All right. Much like the others, we have here the Blu-ray copy and then the DVD copy. Same old, you know, disc art on both. Uh, nothing too extravagant. But I will forgive them for that in this instance because of the box set itself. The box set is the impressive part. So, you know, if they want to, you know use the same uh, disc art for the disc, I'm good with that. All right, here goes the interior artwork here. The girl smoking a cigarette. All right, there's that. Pop this back. All right, and that's it for the Jacques Rivet collection. And this one, like I said, does come out May 23rd from Arrow Academy. Again, Arrow puts out fantastic phenomenal things whether it be the arrow video portion or the aerial arrow academy portion great stuff all around love it so much uh next up is one that uh honestly i have not seen in years um and i remember uh i remember seeing it maybe maybe later in my teens things like that uh when i was when i would check out a lot of like different types of horror and stuff um, and that is brain damage. Here you go. Looks really cool. And he, he, this um, this slip cover here has like this. Uh, it has like the matte feel to it, like like the box set does. But it's almost like a, a same the same uh, feel. That, there's various you know uh, releases that have had the same like feel slip cover. Sons of Anarchy has had something like this before. It almost feels kind of like pleathery in a way you know but uh at the same time like it feels like a like a matte type of feel and the title there i don't know if you can see it it's it's like fo almost like foiled so it kind of reflects a lot more looks really cool here goes the back here if you guys want to check what it's about all right i'm gonna pop this open oh cool awesome look the slip cover is different than the actual cover itself Really awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at this cover here. 
really cool. And then the back is the same. Let's go pop this open. And then the one thing that I do like about Arrow is that they have like that that uh, that gum wrapper like opening here at the bottom where you can just peel it off. Makes it really easy. But sometimes I can't get to the wrapper in time and I'd rather just slide through it really fast <laughs> to get through the video for you guys. All right. All right. I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, to this day, I remember this movie being very strange, very weird, and very, uh, very gory and things like that. And that's what I loved about it the most as, as a youngster. It's a cool little booklet here. All right. There you go. And, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's get right to the point there. All right. Again, production notes, things like that, photos, uh, lots of cool stuff. I love how they have like these alternate posters and things, like international posters and stuff. Super cool. I love that they do that kind of thing. Um, let's go ahead and check out here. Okay, the Blu-ray here, and then the DVD. Two different uh, discards. And it's usually like with these standard releases that they put, you know, the, uh, I guess with the box sets, you know, they, they kind of minimalize the actual, you know, uh, Blu-rays themselves just because, you know, they're putting so much effort into the box set itself. So that's why I was saying, yeah, I understand that, that they kind of go minimal on certain things with these, uh, you know, solo releases like this one, like brain damage, you know, they go the extra mile and they do little things like this. They do, they provide the alternate artwork here, you know, because it is just a solo release and they can put a little bit more care and, and effort into uh, as a solo release than a, uh, than a full set. So that, that's very understandable. And I can't wait to watch this one again. Again, like I said, I have not watched this one in, I don't know how long. So I'm really excited to check this one out and uh, brain damage is out now from Arrow Video. So if you guys see this and, and are very curious about it or remember it, you know, watching it when you were younger, definitely go pick this one up. This is worth it for sure. All right, next up is one, again, it's another one I've never heard of, uh, but I'm excited to check it out. And it's called The Climber. And uh, this one, from what I understand, it's uh, like a crime drama, like a, I believe it's an Italian crime drama, almost somewhat similar to like, what you would think of like Scarface and things like that. So that already had me admittedly, you know, and you can see in my confession video, you know, somewhere in the, in the videos, you can check it out. Uh, if I can, I'll post it up here. I'll link it up here. But, um, if not, it's in the video somewhere, but I've never seen Scarface. I've always heard about, it. I think it, just, it was too much hype when I was younger, uh, that I never watched it, but, uh, you know, definitely this one sounds really good. It really does. Like, it sounds amazing. I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now. We'll take a look at the back right now so you guys can check what it's about. But um, it'll give you an idea. Just by looking at the cover a little closer, give you an idea how, like, insane it's going to be. You see a guy with a machete there. Guns, motorcycles, and stuff, women, things like that. So it seems like it's going to be a really good movie. And here goes the back here. Now read this, pause this, read it, and tell me that it does not seem interesting at all. I challenge you. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right. It does come with the usual booklet. As you can see here, really cool booklet. I love this art, man. Arrow grabs the best artist to do their booklets, their, their cover art and things like that, discard. And I'm... Absolutely impressed every time. Um, all right, this one isn't this this booklet really isn't as big as the others, which is very surprising. Uh, some photos there, production notes, more photos, more production notes, <laughs> typical stuff. Um, all right, so here goes the Blu-ray copy, all right, and then the DVD copy, which again, two different discards. So appreciative, so appreciative uh, whenever they do something like that. Really cool. 
right? And then the alternate artwork. That actually looks really awesome. <laughs> I really like this one. That's amazing. I just want a poster of that. That's so cool. Yeah, that's so that sold me right there. That's gonna be the cover for for this one when it's on my shelf. Love that one. Uh, and the climber is out May sixteenth from Arrow Video. So definitely, I suggest checking that one out as well. Especially if you're into like crime dramas and things like that, like mob movies. Uh, that one seems like it's gonna be a really good one. All right, next up is a movie that I. This is one of my favorites. It really is one of my favorites, and it's been one of my favorites for a very long time. Um, it was always when I was a little younger, me and me and some friends used to always like kind of rotate these movies all the time. It was uh, Tombstone, Wyatt Earp, uh, blah, 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 and oh, what was the other one? Tombstone, Wyatt Earp, Unforgiven. And that's what this is, Unforgiven. <laughs> and this is the 4K version of Unforgiven. As you can see, 4K here, Blu-ray, and digital HD copy. Starring uh, none other than Clint Eastwood, the legendary Clint Eastwood. Amazing actor. This was a ama an amazing movie when it came out. And again, we, we would rotate those three movies constantly in the house. And um, yeah, I, I'm not, yeah, and, and that, that's the weird thing. Is that I was never really like a Western guy. You know what I mean? I never really liked Westerns that much. But this movie, this was probably one of the one of the main movies that I really loved a lot. I can't wait to check it on 4K to check out, see how the transfer is and things like that. Man, that's gonna be really cool. If you guys don't know what it's about, you can check it out here. Check out the special features as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open, shall we? And again, th this movie just looks really cool in this case. Like, just look at it. It looks awesome. Black cases, for some reason, they just do wonders. Especially if it's like a serious type of movie. Uh, it does come with digital copy. All right. And then, and very basic, but very effective, I'm, I might say. Um, does have the typical Warner Brothers, you know, just very basic uh, disc art here. You know, black with a reflective cover, and then the 4K copy, black with a white, uh, I'm sorry, white uh, reflective logo, and then black with the white logo here. But for for a movie like this, nothing more is needed. It doesn't need like this extensive disc art or things like that. So that's really cool. I love that. Um, this one does come out uh, May 23rd from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. So this is definitely one to get for sure. And here goes the front, back, and spine. For Unforgiven. All right, very excited to check this one and revisit revisit this title again. Um, again, one of my favorite movies. Love it so much. Uh, next up is a movie that that I've also been looking forward to. Uh, I really liked the, the the trailers when I saw it. It seems like it's uh, going to be one of those movies again that makes my eyeballs sweat. Uh, <laughs> and that is The Shack, starring Sam Worthington. Yeah, Octavia Spencer and uh, Tim Tim McGraw. Wow. Okay. Um, now, I know Sam Worthington really hasn't had very uh, very much or very very many substantial roles in recent years, but this one, it, it is a it is a very re I don't want to say religious movie, but it makes people I guess think about religion a little bit more, um, and you know. This is one of those movies where, where the guy is at a crossroads in life. And he's trying to, I guess, come to terms whether God is real or God is there or not. You know? And there, there's something about it that, that just kind of hit with me. You know? And, and it, it it's very it was, it was very interesting to check out. And I, I, I can't wait to see this one very soon. So, and Octavia Spencer is always great. She's a strong actress, and she, it, it sucks that she hasn't been given her, her, I guess, her due up until, like, maybe a couple years ago, you know? But anyway, just if you guys want to check out what it's about, right there, and then it's the special features as well. All right, I'm going to pop this open. Oh, 
lot of stickers today. Getting better and better at opening these. <laughs> a lot faster. All right. Does come with a digital copy. And um, just like uh, the typical stuff, very, very, uh, very basic. You can see here. There goes the DVD copy on this side and then the Blu-ray copy on this side of the shack. Uh, both with a very solid colored uh, disc art and then the reflective logo on both of them there. And then there goes the front, back, and spine for the shack, which comes out May 30th from Lionsgate. Like I said, I, I highly suggest it. You know, if you're... Um, if you're in, in one of those movies where you just kind of want to have a good moment just to chill out and, and, and see a good drama, mind you, as, as well. Um, this one does look like it's going to be a good one to watch. All right, next up is, again, another one that I've been really, truly excited for. And I remember seeing the trailer for this one uh, a good while back. So I've been waiting for this one to come out. Um, and this is taking a, 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 a sharp turn. From what the shack was. But this one's called XX. And um, you know me. I love horror. And things like that. So um, this one is is one that I've been. Again like I said waiting for. I love horror anthologies. Uh, like Creep Show, Tales from the Dark Side. The Outer Limits. Twilight Zone. Things like that. And, um, and also in most recent years. The VHS. ABCs of Death. And this is basically... Uh, a continuation of that of that trend um, they, they started making a comeback and I'm glad they've started making a comeback because they're so fun they're so fun to watch um, this one comes out May 23rd from Magnet uh, Magnet Releasing which is a subsidiary of Magnolia Home Entertainment alright so there goes front there now the thing about this film here goes if you guys want to check out what it's about the thing about this one uh, is the or the catch about this one is that there's a couple of stories here. I believe that there's like four or five. There, there usually is like a wraparound story that, that you know, pulls them all together. But um, all these short films in this, uh, this Blu-ray, in this movie, are directed by females. And that was the other thing that kind of got me excited. Because, you know what? A lot of times, you know, females aren't given credit as, as a creative. And, and, or or even, even as far as like being directors. And things like that. So, this movie, I, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say that it's going to prove a lot of people wrong. <laughs> and show that females can be just as, like, insane when it comes to horror. Uh, so, I cannot wait to see this one, for sure. I love the BHS movies. Uh, the third one was a little weird, though. But, yeah, I, I could not, yeah, I could not talk about them enough. So, uh, I'm really excited for this one. Here, more stickers. All right. All right. So, again, with with uh, Magna releasing and, and Magnolia Pictures, to be expected. Uh, no interior artwork. Uh, does have disc art though, which is basically the same as the, the cover. But I'm good with that. Uh, here goes the front, back, and spine for XX. Which comes out May 23rd from Magnolia Home Entertainment and Magnet Releasing. All right, and this one does have like the little tab here. You can pop in, you know, if you guys don't want that little little flap lock thing. But anyway, yes, very excited for this movie. Really excited. All right, next up is a movie that I've never heard of. And it's called Sky on Fire. This one seems like it's going to be like a, one of those uh, disaster type of films. Action, action-y type of disaster films. This seems really cool. Um, let's see here. All right, and then there goes the back. If you want to check it out, and this one comes out. Uh, let's see here, June sixth from WellGo USA. Again, WellGo USA uh, puts out a lot of like, uh, you know, Asian cinema, you know, Korean movies, uh, you know, uh, Chinese movies and things like that. A lot of action stuff as well. Um, so this is one of those as well, and. I, again, I, I've said in the past how I've almost kind of they, they they put out a lot of these, and it came, it got to a point where I got a little burned out. I'm not gonna lie, um, but this one you know caught my eye right away, and it seems really good. I love the tunnel. Um, if you guys. 
go back on like maybe one of my other Blu-ray collection updates. Um, they also sent over the tunnel uh, at that point, and uh, I love that movie too. So that one was really good. So it's it's kind of reinvigorated my excitement uh, for Asian cinema, for a Asian action cinema. Um, so I, I can't wait for this one as well. Now again, I've never heard about it or anything like that. Just reading the, the synopsis and reading what it's about um, got me really interested. So all right. All right, no, no digital copy. This is like a, an advertisement for some of their releases, Train to, to Busan, which, amazing. Loved it. All right, and then some other stuff here. All right. And then, no interior artwork does have disc art there, which is not like the cover, which is really good, really, really uh, enticing. All right. So you have it. There goes the front, back, and spine for Sky on Fire, which comes out June 6th from Well Go USA. So if you're into action and things like that, or, or just action that you would never really notice, you know, on the shelves in, at Best Buy or anything like that, check that one out. I think, I think you might be surprised with that one. All right, last but not least, we have a movie that I, I saw, uh, I actually... I actually got to see a movie in theaters. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard sometimes because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a parent and I'm a husband. So it's hard to kind of get out to the movie sometimes. But uh, this was one that I, I, I made sure I went to go out and see. And this is uh, Get Out. Uh, written and directed by Jordan Peele. Now, uh, it is certified fresh Rotten Tomatoes if that is any sort of, you know, I guess, uh, stamp of approval for you guys. Not me, not usually anyway. But um it does say here, best reviewed movie of 2017. I will uh, reiterate that fact and say this was a great movie. Now, they classified it as a horror movie. But it's, to me, I, just, I saw it as like a thriller. You know, uh, it has a, an interracial couple here. They, they she, she takes him to go meet her parents, one of the parents here, and just things go awry. You know, um, things get very. It, it's it's one, this is one of those movies where, you know, it's it's can touch on a very touchy subject, obviously. You know, with race, uh, racial relations, and things like that. But the way they did it was in a way that everybody could sit down and watch it. Everyone, mind you. You know, uh, any any color, any race, and things like that, and still have a good movie going experience. Still be scared. Still have you know chills and stuff like that. Still get the creepiness without it parading. I guess you know, or or not parading, but preaching. You know the 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 message that that's that's across in here. And uh, I feel like you know this is one of those movies that I think everybody should watch. You know, I mean, there, there was some funny moments in there because it is, you know, Jordan Peele. But for the most part, it, it it can open a lot of people's eyes in a certain extent, to a certain extent anyway. But anyway, I, I highly suggest watching this one yourself. Um, there goes what it's about, if you guys don't know what it's about. And the bonus features as well. This really was a fantastic movie. I really loved it a lot. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm thrilled to, to to revisit it and check it out again because from what i've heard um there's things in there that you'll you'll see the second time around or the third time around that you'll be like oh okay i didn't see that initially or i didn't get that that moment that just happened you know or i didn't see that being teased you know ahead of time so I, i'm really thrilled to check it out once again all right let's go and pop this open here goes digital copy oh if you caught that Take it. Keep it. Um, I don't think so. Uh, keep it pretty fast. Anyway. <laughs> um, there goes the typical uh, universal universal stuff here. Uh, the DVD copy on this side. Just the, the complete solid black uh, disc art with a reflective cover. And then the re semi-reflective uh, Blu-ray here with the blue logo. All right. And then here goes the front back and spying for get out which comes out may 23rd from 
Universal Home Entertainment. All right, guys. So, yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you. It was a lot to take a look at today. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys dug any of these titles, please give this video a big, big thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. It'll, it'll help get this video out to more people. Um, and if you guys have not already, if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. You know, again, as I always say, we're, we're heading down that line to 2000. And I would love, love, love to get there as, as soon as we can. Uh, because I, 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 I have a little something plan. I have a little something plan for 2000. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna elaborate anymore right now. But I have a little something plan for 2000. So if you guys can help me get to 2000 subscribers, um, tell a friend, tell your grandma, tell your uncle that lives in the truck by the river and things like that to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I would, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, there are going to be links down in the description below if you guys want to purchase any of these titles uh, through those links. Uh, it does help me out a lot, but again, as always, you don't you do not have to purchase them through there. But if you do, thank you so much. Um, and uh, that's about it. We have a uh, you know more videos coming down the pipeline, a lot of podcast stuff, things like that. Uh, I'm I'm going to be experimenting very soon with some new type of videos. The way I do things, maybe. I'm even thinking about, don't quote me on this, don't, 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 you know, I'm not promising anything, but I may be bringing the Roundup back. Um, if you don't know what the Roundup is, Roundup is, take a look back at some of the other videos um, and you'll get an idea of what, what I'm talking about. But anyway, with all that being said, we will catch you next time. Bye.